Perfect. Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In today's episode, we will be taking a huge step towards getting rid of all this. Because I'm tired of my current storage system. We need to go digital. However, it is not going to be completely as I wanted it to. You see, I originally wanted to go with something like refined storage, which is my personal favorite refined storage mod. Um, but the issue is, if I take a look at the controller, which is an essential item, I need an echo park. And for that, I need two perfect echo gems. And yeah, I don't have that kind of echo gems. Not to mention, in order to get an echo park, I also need a normal park, which I'm not even close at getting. So that kind of rules out refined storage. That's probably going to be a little bit before I get that. And unfortunately, same goes with applied energistics, because I would need an ME controller, and that also requires an echo park. And I mean, if we take a look at some of the other stuff, I would need an ME drive as well which for that I would need another park as well. So unfortunately, I can't go down that route. But there is another route that I can go down into, and that is this one, RF Tools Storage, which is basically the same, a little bit of a different storage uh, system, but it works. And also it is affordable. So we got the modular storage, which I believe is, yes, this modular storage system can store a lot of items that allows easy searching and filtering, um, which of course we would need storage modules, but again, that is also affordable, I think. Yes, we would just need a bunch of quartz. We can also make a storage scanner. This machine will scan all nearby inventories and show them in a list. You can then search and access items from these inventories. I assume that might be like stuff like... Um, chests and drawers potentially i'm not sure we'll have to find out and experiment with that but the point is this is affordable so i thought that is a lot better than just no digital storage and yes i am currently running the latest patch version 1.13.8 and as you can see i have changed my volt xp multiplier to two default is one but i wanted to bump it up just a little bit i mean iskel bumped it up to 10 but let's be fair he's an expert at the smart pack, so I, he can manage. I, um, I'm new to this, <laughs> so I'm not gonna go that far. But regardless, there's a few things on my to-do list. Well, one of them is actually quite relevant to the topic because I want to do a little bit of shopping and I want to focus on as many of the relevant items as possible. Things like, also things like vault diamonds, huge and don't want to miss out on those whatsoever. More vault diamonds, I will not say no to that. And there's even more down here. That's awesome. We might actually be able to get a vault diamond block from this if I have enough coins for it. Ooh, legendary treasure. I might come back to that. I've got to prioritize the vault diamonds for now though. If I have any left. Ooh, I do. Okay, uh, yes, why not? You guys can head in here. And that was exactly nine volt diamonds, which I'm instantly going to turn into a volt diamond block. Now let's open this. Ooh, a helmet and it's a normal treasure. Uh, early, early on rolling some stuff in today's episode, but that's cool. And it's scrappy, not back resistant, yeah, noob. Another thing I also want to do is go through all of these. Well, first of all, this one was already dead. Bye bye. Yeah, I want to go through all of my statues here and I want to sort them out a bit because I don't think it makes sense that I have statues of blocks that I don't want taking up storage space. I would much rather have the ones such as vanilla. Uh, generating vanilla blocks and not things like metal plate and I do like Midori. I do think that is nice. Bricks, dark oak log, snow block, and black ice. No, thank you. We are at 51%. Not bad. Now, the next thing I want to take a quick look at is Rampage. Because basically, apparently, the shaman specialization has gotten a little bit of a nerf. It used to be really overpowered. It used to be really OP. Um, but that has been dealt with and it's no longer as useful or as powerful, I should say, as before. I am just thinking whether or not I want to keep upgrading Rampage to basically 100%, which means if I get it to this level, if I deal 20 damage per hit, 
in this duration of time while Rampage is active, I would deal 40, so basically double my damage. However, with Execute, while this is active and I have a short uh, window basically when activating this and hit it, if I get it at max, I would take away 30% of the boss's total health. So say it has 100 hit points that I activate that and hit it, I would remove 30 hit points and it would be left with 70. I think I'm going to learn Execute a little bit. But I'm also going to upgrade Rampage, because now I deal plus 75% of my total damage that I do per hit in the duration Rampage uh, is active in. But I will also upgrade Execute to one more level. I think I will be utilizing both of these. Now I do have Shaman selected as well, which I don't think is a bad thing. I guess we'll have to see when I do my next boss battle. But I think a usage of both the Rampage and the Execute isn't going to be half bad of an idea. Now, I apologize for my long talking. Let's do something a little bit more exciting, shall we? I have four Knowledge Stars, which I'm going to go ahead and consume. And let's take a look at the research page. You see, I have gone ahead and made a little bit of a list of the most efficient way of using our knowledge points. Our tool storage is cheap. It's basically just one knowledge point. It's very easy. However, we do need, um, it doesn't say here, but we do need the RF tools base mod, which is also extremely cheap. However, I have been looking at these plus and minuses everywhere, and I think I have figured out the order of which I want to do things. And the very first thing that we are unlocking today is going to be power, because this mod basically gives us a huge arsenal of ways we can generate power, such as solar panels, furniture, whatever that is, energy cells for storage of power. We get a bunch of ways of being able to generate power. So I'm going to take this. Now, as I take this, that is going to increase the power, the, the, the cost of RF tools bay. Okay, enough RF tools base. Haha. <laughs> but for the RF tool storage. So the next thing I then want to take is this one, which is then costing two. And then I want to take this one because as I take this, it will not increase the cost of our tool space. So basically in short, I need three more knowledge stars. And I am unfortunately down a couple of star shards, but basically we now have energy cells and we can actually start crafting some of this stuff. So I think I want to get started with some of these things. Now I think I'm going to go with solar cells because we have this mountain that we live on and I think it will just make sense because the sun rises, goes all the way above and then eventually sets there. I think it would be cool to utilize this space and also make it look a little bit neater but basically have a bunch of solar panels here leading down into our base using some cables. So that is what I want to so first we need a few solar panels and of course we also need an energy cell. So I think this is what we should start with. All right, so for an energy cell, we need basic capacitor and dielectric casing and iron. We're finally starting to craft stuff. I'm so excited for this. Okay, the casing, I need blocks of iron, any gem and dielectric rod. So I need to get my Benutite and my Laramar as well. All right, then I also need dielectric paste, which is vault nuggets. Okay, not, not impossible to do. And this can be cool. Vault nugget, Lermar, and okay, I need to make a bunch of that stuff. So I should now have everything that I need in order to make some dialectic paste. I'm going to go ahead and make 60. That's probably a pretty good amount, right? So I need to make dialectic rods. So I do believe I need I'm going to make a few here, 16, I think. Oh, I need to make horizontal ones as well. Dielectric casing, just like that. Then I need basic capacitors, which is basically a, oh, a tiny basic capacitor turned into, okay, I need more dielectric paste and rest of blocks. Just use all my vault nuggets, I realize. I don't know if I can make more of those. I guess we will find out. So basic capacitor, I'm going to use this very sparingly. Gonna turn those into tiny ones and boom, we have an energy cell. Now this can only store 100,000 Fe, which I think stands for Forge Energy. I want to go to 1 million, so I need one more and then another dielectric casing. Oh, okay, doing it this way down here is very, a lot more expensive than doing this top one. Okay, I didn't realize that. Lesson learned, but that's okay. So, I can go ahead and use this one. Yeah, this would have been a lot cheaper to do, actually. Oh well, that's fine. 
All right, we now have a basic energy cell which can store 1 million FE. Nice. So this is basically our battery. Next, of course, we do need some energy cables. However, I do want to move on to the basic energy cables, I think, which is a lot of dielectric rods, horizontal and basic capacitors, which is even more dielectric paste. And that is going to be 24 basic cables. Hopefully that's going to be enough. We'll see. And then, of course, the solar panels, which we need for solenic pain and for that more dilatic paste and lapis and glass paints. Okay. Now these can extract 50 FE a tick. Um, if we go to basic, they can extract 150. Now these we do need the stars for. So that's probably why I got it, it, uh, confused with the basic and the starter energy cell where I thought I needed two starters in order to make it basic. So I just want, let's start with two starter here. I need more dialectic paste and for that I need more vault nugget. And for that, that is an easy craft because we got plenty of diamonds and we got plenty of vault dust. Some of our hard earned loot is finally paying off. And I should be able to make two starter solar panels. And I think this should be enough to keep us going potentially. So I don't think I want to go further unless I'm until I know exactly how much I am actually going to be needing. So I'm thinking of covering this up somehow. Something like this. Do like the idea of preserving this ice and kind of making it be in the middle there. And let's then bring this beam out here. I have a lot of logs, so I don't want to spare any because I think if I do this and then do this and then have the solar panels on top, I think that's actually going to look not too bad. I think if I then go ahead and take some fences, Put some lamps on top of here, which might melt some of the snow, but that's fine. Like that. And then let's find the center. This seems, yep, this is the center. Perfect. So if I cut this out and place some energy cable there, 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 and there. Actually, oh, I can go right through it. That's interesting. Place here and here because then I can put a oak lock and oak lock there and solar panel starter and solar panel starter. Okay, and they are generating and storing power. Very, very nice. So now I basically want to take this power down here somewhere. And I think right in the middle here. So if I place the energy cell right there. And this is where that then is. Okay, right. So I need to essentially lead some cabling all the way over here. I think that's somewhat doable without it being completely impossible. Yes, we basically just lead it over here. Here, then over here. That is, it's connected. Move it over, down, and then final piece. And with that, we should now be storing power. <laughs> Look at this, we're generating power, everyone. Okay, that, that's very exciting. That's actually very, very exciting. Okay, and of course, I'm gonna patch this up. And boom! We're generating and storing power. Yes, we have, wait for it, Almost 20,000 Forge energy. We got power. But with that, like I said, we still need knowledge stars. And I am out of diocese and I'm out of volt time as well. Yeah, I, I basically need more volt diamonds because remember, I need three more knowledge stars. So I think we need to do some volt running. And before I can do that, of course, we need to. Oh boy. We need to craft some crystals. I should have enough of everything. Yes, two saddles. I think. Okay, I don't. I don't quite have enough gravel, but I should have enough of everything else. Yes, just need a little bit more gravel. Gravel, gravel. Boom, 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 and vault crystal created. Boom. Nice. Oh wait a minute, that's not. What's that? 
White concrete? Oh, come on. Oh, this is not too bad. There you go. 18 white concrete. This crystal could have been a lot worse. I think the main thing that I want to do is looting today. However, if I do take one of these and yes, I do like cake hunts. So we shall do one. Time to get ready with my brand new vault armor. Now, I got a bunch of Wu-Tex shots here. I don't really need them at this point in time. So what I can go ahead and do, I was told, is make perfect Wu to die. And then in here, put Wu-Tex shots around and I can make a bunch of Wu-Tex crystals. Now, I think I'm going to make four. One for each thing. So one for my totem and one for my each of my armor sets because this will basically level it up. So it has one levels. I can unlock that using this. Let's hope for something good. Knockback resistance. Uh, that's not what I was hoping for. Let's try the boots. Parry. And I would love to get something like luck. Durability. Okay, that's not really what I was after, but okay. Let's take a look at the totem. Parry. Okay, well, I guess that's not too bad either. Actually, hold on a minute. Mm, let's do one more. Slowness immunity. Okay, that's really good for when witches hit me with... Uh, this is annoying. <laughs> but I don't really need the Wu-Tex shots for anything else. Plus 1.4 attack speed. You know what? I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna get more. Let's just do it. At extra attack damage, that's really good, actually. And resistance? Nice! Okay, you know what? This totem is actually really good. I am not regretting upgrading that whatsoever. Okay, I think I'm ready. Crowded, resilient, and easy? Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, and how many cakes? 24? Oh dear, 24. Okay. Um... Right. I don't know if I'm going to complete this, but I just know that these cake oh, these cake vaults can be easier to to loot at times. So if I do come across a very very good room, I'm obviously going to take it. Um, but I do want to try and of course complete the scavenger as much as possible. And I am one hitting these. Nice. Aha! Found it. Thirty meters. It might be down here. Aha! I'm not even looking at the effects, honestly. So we got strong, which is awesome. We got crowded and easy. Okay, that's why all of a sudden there was a lot more mobs. Okay, yeah, there's a lot more. Hello. Okay. Okay, we're on a roll here. I'm not gonna complain. Plentiful. Ooh, okay, so if we get an all room, that's gonna be really good. Killing these guys is going to be really good because they might drop vault diamonds or skill essence. I don't even know, can the cake be underwater? I wonder if that's a possibility. Oh, it's right in front of me. Quite literally right in front of me. Personal space. Oh, good. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. This might be a good vault to get a bunch of... Okay. Soul shots. 13 meters, 13 meters, 13 meters, 13 meters. Aha! Frail. Oh, that, I don't think that's good. I see the cake right down here. Bye bye. Bye bye. Go away. 8 out of 24. We're a third of the way there with plenty of time to spare. I mean, I'll be really happy if we manage to get this out. 15 me Wait a minute, 15 meters. Aha! Plentiful again? Ooh. Now I'm almost wishing for an ore room because I do need a bunch more. Oh boy. A bunch more ores. Oh, what's this? XP again? Oh no, hearts. Uh Yeah, I can deal with that. I can I can do that. Oh wow. Okay, yeah. That was most definitely I've I knew I forgot something. I forgot something to store items in. This is all I got in my backpack. Oh boy. I, I'm always forgetting something when doing these vault runs. Every single time. I seriously need a checklist. Okay, things are all of a sudden not looking too good. Oh, hello me. Ow. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Eh. Gotcha. Oh. 
Um, upside down room. The cake should not be difficult to find in here. The cake is not in here. 14 meters though. Not far off. Oh wow, I did not know there was a secret compartment here. Echo gem! I got an echo gem! Oh, that's huge. Uh, you die. The cake has to be up here somewhere, I think. The issue is, it's not. 13 meters though, if it's not 13 meters up there, then where is it? 6 meters, I am right next to it somewhere. 6 meters, where is it? It needs to be right, like, right here. 7 meters. What? What's this? What on earth is this? Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to prioritize here. What on earth is this? I did not know this place would here be here. What on earth is this? 15 meters. What? There has to be some sort of puzzle to this, right? I, I don't understand where it is. It says seven meters right here. I don't. I don't get it. I really don't understand where it is. There's a section above this section. That's a section above this section. No wonder I can't find everything I'm looking for. <gasps> puffium, 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 puffium. What's the sacrifice? What's the sacrifice? What's the sacrifice? What to? Uh, yes. Puffium. Oh wow. Okay. Where's the Where's the stupid cake? Where's the cake? I would tell 42 distance to cake 42 meters now. Nah, that's not fair. Does the cake move if you don't find it after a certain amount of time? I I don't know what to do. Well, six minutes left. 37 meters. I honestly don't know what to do with this at this point. I I think I'm gonna have to go. I am so confused right now. I have no clue where the cake is. Th this room it is just confusing. This room is confusing. I don't, okay, yeah. I'm gonna head back. I got a lot of useful loot though. I'm very happy with that. Now I just need to race back and then I'm going to spend the rest of the time, I think, just, yeah, getting, getting soul shards. Okay, home portal, two minutes to spare. I'm gonna go ahead and just kill a bunch of mobs, getting as many soul shards as I possibly can. All right, final one, there we go. Disengage magnet, 20 seconds left. Oh boy, okay, yep. <laughs> I don't want to cut it any closer than I have to. Oh boy, okay, well we got almost half the cakes. Honestly, it wasn't too bad of a run. Didn't get as much stuff as I would have liked, but yeah, it's still not too bad. Oh, dang it. Oh. No pickerang. I really, really want the pickerang. In case you didn't know. Most importantly though, we got an echo gem as well as a puffium ore. That's... Awesome. We also got. Yeah, I don't care about the statue. Wall essence, root text shards, and this is again why I want to get a digital storage because this is what I do and usually cut. But me running back and forth from chest to chest, yeah, it's just it's just not optimal. Me not remembering exactly where I placed each different thing. Yeah. Oh, don't 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 drop my tank. Thank you. Very, very, very useful. Also ended up with 747 shots. Oh, rare, plus 4% parry, three levels. That's not too bad. This is meh. Also, we got a lot of vault experience from that. We would have only gotten half of that if I hadn't increased the XP multiplier. Ooh, less armor, more armor toughness. They do look cool though. Well, yeah, more, more armor is more important, I think. They do have two levels though, so yeah, they're, they're not bad. I'll keep it down here with the spares. I think I want to run another one because I would really love to complete one and level up. That wouldn't too, be too bad either. All right, let's hope this one goes a little bit. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. And yes. <laughs> There we go. Now we can go. Frail, plentiful, speedy, and easy. I like these. And it is 21 cakes yet again. Again, again. I am not particularly happy about that. Yoink. Okay. Didn't give us any modifiers, so that like that's fine. Oh, see it. Oh, that was instant luck here. Plus two luck level. Ooh. 
okay. I'm really happy about that. Three meters, I see it. Well, four out of 24, that's not too bad. Plus I see the next one, but I, ah. Yep, yep, yep. I do want to loot when I can, because of the luck level. Two vault diamonds, yep, that's why I wanna loot. All right, let's see if we can find it. I really hope it's not down here, however, oh, that is. Crowded, oh dear me. Fairly easy to spot the cake in this room, I just did. Seven cakes out of the 24, with 21 minutes remaining, that's not bad. I do like these big open rooms, and that's the cake. Because the cake is easy to find, usually. If we could get a... If we if we could get an, a portal with this, that would be perfect. Yeah, no portal room, unfortunately. I mean, nine cakes out of the 24 with 19 minutes left. That's not a bad time. That is, boom, hunger. Ew. Oh no. Spider room, are you kidding me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Plentiful, that's double plentiful, I think. Double plentiful. Okay, this right here is probably one of my least favorite rooms. I do wonder, however, yes, we do have some ores down here. Okay, I assume the cake is gonna be up here. I hate baby zombies. I see it. I got it. I'm gonna take a candy bar here. I do want to speed things up. <gasps> Is spark light? Spark light. Sparkle light. Very, very nice. There's the cake. Oh wait, 10 meters. Oh, it's gonna be right here. There it is, right in front of me, literally. Okay, 15 down, 9 to go. With just 12 minutes to work things out. That's not a whole lot of time. Uh-oh. 22 meters. There it is. Eight cakes remaining. Run around here somewhere. That is trapped. That's not good. Oh, hey, me. I can only be one. And it's me. Oh, I really need to be careful with my time here. Bit risky, this. Also, this room is great for looting. Uh, do I loot this and just go? Loot this or just and just go? I, th I th think I just... Oh no, wait, it's trapped actually. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna loot this and just go. This room is quite unfold. That is, oh boy, one more room that I'm getting out. Yep, think I'm gonna call it here because I can't find it here either. Just waiting for the last tip, 14 meters. You know, I think I'm, I think I'm out. I don't want to get to the point where I get trapped. I can loot on my way back. So close though, so close. I just didn't want to take the risk. If I had added a soul flame to this crystal, it would have been just fine, but I didn't and I should have. Okay, back to the original room. I could have looted for four minutes, but that's fine. I'm just gonna be here getting a bunch of soul shards, because when we do want to use soul shards, I'll regret not here taking the opportunity to get as many as I can. Alright, I think I'm done playing with these fellas. <laughs> one final one. And... yeah, yeet. We unfortunately didn't get to finish the cake vault itself. We were very close. Maybe we could have even continued, but I didn't add a soul flame, which basically makes it so it prevents loss of items if I die, which means I, from my understanding anyway, I wouldn't lose my armor or weapons or anything like that that I bring with me into the vault if I die, which I might add on the next one because then I might be able to just run and see if I can do it. But however, I would lose the loot, so that would be a chance that I would take, that I would have to take. They're also pretty easy to craft, so it's not like they're expensive. And I say easy because we have over one and a half stacks of with skeleton skulls. Easy. All right, the loot is not looking too bad. We got a bunch of ores, which I'm really happy about. We got a really cool, cool one, the Sparkle Team. We might be getting close to be made be able to make our first pug actually. Got a couple of traders here, storage upgrade, pain I jam. Ooh, okay, we also got jade apple and golden apple, eh, not as exciting. Three vault diamonds and 10 star essence. We also got a few statues, stone bricks, metamorphic tiny stone and stone bricks again. Yeah, yeet. Other than that, just a bunch of gems, relic booster packs, mystery boxes, all that good stuff. Oh, and we got enough for another vault diamond block. That is cool. I thought that was a relic, but it was not. Okay, let's see what this is. Yeah, 
Nope. <laughs> and we also leveled up quite a bit and we have one now unspent skill point, which I don't know what to use for. Of course, I could upgrade execute once more. Yeah, you know what? I think I've got to do that. Got to get execute up to the 30%. And as soon as we hit level 50, we'll be able to take one of these as well. Good stuff. Now we also ended up with 823 shards. I just quickly want to... Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold hold on, hold on. Unknown item. I can afford that, obviously. Unidentified vault item. Uh, I don't care. Seal of the Hunter. Set a vault crystal's objective to scavenger hunt. And also the blank key. But I would need like a thousand and one hundred extra shards. I'm... Probably not gonna get that, um, but the seal of the hunter. I feel like it's a really good deal, so I think I'm gonna take it. And there it is. Now basically this is going to set the vault's crystal like it says, the objective to scavenger hunt. The only thing I'm in doubt of is whether or not I have to do it within five minutes. If I do, that's gonna be tough, but yeah, I, I guess I can always try. I'll do some research in between episodes here, and also if you do know, do let me know down below in the comments, please. Three more styrsons. That's eight. That's our second knowledge star. I'm not going to use it today. We need to get two more before I want to use them. But there we go. But guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. We did some really good progress here. We got power. It's building up. We got 190,000 FE, Forge Energy, which I'm really, really happy about. I'm really happy with the solar power that we have going on here. Really happy that we have unlocked the power mod. We got so many opportunities to generate power now, and we are well on our way to getting three knowledge stars, which in turn is going to get us very close to RF tool storage, which I just cannot wait to get. Now, like I said, that's gonna be it for this episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode where hopefully we can start creating some of the stuff for our brand new digital storage system. But anyways, have a good one and goodbye. Yeah.